Welcome back, dear viewers, to English Horror Stories. I'm Sarah Alex, and today, we have a chilling treat for you. Before we dive into the abyss, hit subscribe and the notification bell, so you never miss our terrifying tales. Support the channel below. Now, brace yourselves for a nightmarish journey into English Horror Stories. Title, The Haunted Gallery Once upon a chilling autumn evening in the quiet town of Willowbrook, there stood an ancient mansion, shrouded in mystery. Its shadowy corridors and creaking staircases whispered tales of long-forgotten secrets. Inside this eerie mansion lived two young siblings, Timmy and his little sister, Sophie, along with their aunt and uncle. The mansion had always been a source of intrigue for the curious children, who had heard hushed whispers from the townsfolk about its cursed history. But that evening, as a storm brewed outside, they would discover that the mansion held a dreadful secret, the curse of the living paintings. Timmy, a brave ten-year-old boy, had always been fascinated by the mansion's grand gallery. It was a vast room filled with ancient portraits of stern-faced ancestors, their eyes seeming to follow you wherever you went. Sophie, just seven years old, was more timid and often begged Timmy to stay away from the gallery. But curiosity got the better of them that fateful evening as the storm raged on. The siblings ventured into the dimly lit gallery, the portraits looming like silent sentinels on the walls. Thunder rumbled, and lightning briefly illuminated the room, casting eerie shadows that danced across the paintings. Sophie clutched Timmy's hand tightly. Timmy, I don't like it here. Can we go back? Timmy reassured her, don't worry, Sophie. It's just a bunch of old paintings. Nothing to be afraid of. As Timmy pointed at a portrait of a stern-looking man with piercing eyes, something unimaginable happened. The man in the painting blinked, and a sinister grin spread across his lips. Sophie gasped, and Timmy's eyes widened in terror. Soon, it wasn't just one painting, they all came to life. Ancestors from generations past stepped out of their frames, their eyes blazing with life, and they began to speak in hushed, ghostly voices. The siblings were trapped in a nightmare come to life. Their screams brought Aunt Margaret and Uncle Henry rushing to the gallery. Their faces turned ashen as they saw the living portraits, a sight that defied all reason and logic. The painted figures moved, danced, and whispered secrets from the past. Some laughed maniacally, while others wept silently. It was a ghastly, surreal spectacle that seemed straight out of a horror story. The O'Connor children and their guardians were trapped in the gallery, unable to escape the cursed paintings that now had a life of their own. The mansion's walls seemed to close in on them, and the storm outside raged louder, as if echoing the chaos within. As the night wore on, Timmy and Sophie realized they had to uncover the truth behind the curse. They bravely ventured deeper into the gallery, searching for any clues among the living portraits. It was a terrifying journey, filled with eerie encounters and heart-pounding moments. In their quest to uncover the curse's origin, the children stumbled upon a hidden diary that spoke of a forbidden love between two ancestors, Amelia and Jonathan. Their love had been condemned, and a vengeful relative had cursed them to eternal captivity within their portraits, separated for all time. With newfound determination, Timmy and Sophie knew they had to reunite Amelia and Jonathan to break the curse. But the jealous spirit that had cursed them still lingered, determined to keep them apart. In the darkest hour of the night, with lightning flashing and thunder roaring, the children devised a plan. Armed with courage and the power of family bonds, they set out to reunite the star-crossed lovers and put an end to the gallery's haunting curse. But little did they know that their journey would lead them through a labyrinth of chilling mysteries, dark magic, and a final confrontation that would test their courage to its limits. As the storm outside finally subsided and dawn broke, the children's fate hung in the balance within the haunted gallery. To be continued. That was Spine Tingling. If you survived this horror journey, thumbs up and share your thoughts below. For more hair-raising stories, subscribe and hit the bell. More bone-chilling content coming soon.